you ever wondered why bedbugs breed so much in Japan? It's a question that piques the curiosity, conjures a sense of intrigue, and opens the door into a world of fascinating yet unnerving discoveries. Today we delve into this world, exploring the surprising prevalence of these tiny nocturnal pests in the land of the rising sun. But let's not be too quick to point fingers. The issue of bedbugs extends far beyond Japan's borders. They're a global concern, an unseen menace that lurks in the shadows of our homes, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. From the bustling metropolis of Tokyo to the serene landscapes of Kyoto, these elusive critters have found a way to thrive. But what makes Japan such a hotspot for these pests? What are the peculiar conditions that make it a bedbug haven? The answers may surprise you, so buckle up and join us on this enlightening journey. Stay tuned as we explore the reason behind this fascinating phenomenon. Before we delve into the why, let's understand the what. Bedbugs, known scientifically as Cymex lectularius, are small oval brownish insects that feed solely on the blood of animals or humans. Adults have flat bodies about the size of an apple seed but their bodies balloon and turn a reddish color after a hearty meal. The life cycle of bedbugs consists of five nymph stages and a final adult stage. Each immature nymph stage requires a blood meal to molt and progress to the next stage. This whole process, from egg to adult, takes roughly five to eight weeks under normal room temperatures. Bedbugs are nocturnal creatures. They are most active an hour before dawn, but given the opportunity, they can adjust their feeding habits to match the sleeping patterns of their hosts. They are not known to transmit diseases, but their bites can lead to skin rashes, allergic reactions, and psychological effects such as stress and insomnia. These pests have a global distribution due to human travel, but are most commonly found in developed countries. They are experts at hiding and can hitch a ride on clothing, luggage, used furniture and other items, making them a real concern for homeowners. Why are they a concern you may ask? Well bed bugs are excellent at going unnoticed. They can live for several months without a blood meal and can survive in a variety of temperatures from nearly freezing to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Their resilience and adaptability make them a challenging pest to control, especially since they are resistant to many common pesticides. And let's not forget, a single female bedbug can lay hundreds of eggs over her lifetime, each about the size of a speck of dust. This means a small, unnoticed problem can rapidly turn into a full-blown infestation. Now that we have the basics covered, let's dive into the heart of the matter. Japan, a country known for its cleanliness, surprisingly has a bedbug problem, but why? This is a question that has puzzled many, especially considering Japan's reputation for meticulous cleanliness and hygiene. To answer this, we need to delve into certain unique conditions that make Japan an ideal breeding ground for these pesky critters. One of the prime factors is the high population density. Japan, and especially its metropolitan cities like Tokyo and Osaka, are densely populated. This high concentration of people in a relatively small area creates favorable conditions for bedbugs to spread rapidly from one place to another. Now, bedbugs are incredibly resilient creatures. They can survive in a wide range of temperatures and feed on human blood to reproduce. In urban environments where people live in close proximity, these bugs can move easily from one host to another, multiplying their numbers at a frightening pace. Japan's urban environment marked by its numerous high-rise apartments and densely packed housing units inadvertently provides these bugs with plenty of opportunities to find new hosts and expand their population. The use of secondhand furniture is another significant factor contributing to the bed bug problem in Japan. It's common for people in Japan to sell their used furniture when they move. These items often find new homes quickly, thanks to the robust online marketplace for secondhand goods. However, this practice can inadvertently facilitate the spread of bed bugs. You see, bed bugs are excellent hitchhikers. They can hide in the crevices of furniture, only to emerge at their new location, ready to infest another home. Unless the furniture is thoroughly inspected and treated, it's quite possible for these bugs to make their journey undetected, leading to a new infestation. The cultural norm of motainai, or the belief in avoiding waste, is deeply ingrained in Japanese society. This encourages the reuse and recycling of items including furniture. While this is commendable from an ecological standpoint, it can unfortunately contribute to the spread of bedbugs if proper precautions are not taken. Lastly, the increasing frequency of international travel and tourism to Japan has also played a role. 
Bedbugs are notorious for their ability to travel long distances by hitching a ride in luggage, clothing, or other personal items. With millions of tourists visiting Japan each year, the chances of bedbugs being brought into the country inadvertently have increased. Interesting, isn't it? But that's just scratching the surface. As we move forward, we'll delve deeper into the science behind the breeding of these tiny creatures and the impact they have on homeowners. Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the mystery of Japan's bedbug problem. Now let's get down to the science of it all. In our quest to understand why bedbugs are particularly fond of Japan, it's crucial to delve into the scientific aspects of their breeding behavior. Bedbugs, scientifically known as Chymex lectularius, are small, nocturnal insects that feed on the blood of mammals, with a particular fondness for humans. Their breeding tendencies are influenced by a multitude of factors, including climate, living conditions, and their impressive resistance to common pesticides. First, let's talk about climate. Bedbugs are hardy creatures capable of surviving in a wide range of temperatures. However, they truly thrive in temperate conditions, where the average temperature hovers around 20 degrees Celsius. Japan, with its predominantly temperate climate, provides an ideal breeding ground for these insects. The country's humid summers and mild winters offer perfect conditions for bedbugs to multiply rapidly. The warmer the environment, the quicker they can produce eggs, leading to a faster proliferation of their population. But the favorable climate is just one piece of the puzzle. The living conditions prevalent in Japan also contribute to the breeding of bedbugs. These insects are not picky when it comes to their habitat. They can comfortably settle in a variety of environments from the cleanest of homes to the most cluttered of spaces. Given Japan's high population density and the relatively small size of living spaces, it's easier for bedbugs to spread from one place to another, creating a cycle of continuous infestation. Now, onto the bedbugs' resistance to common pesticides. Over the years, these pesky critters have evolved to become remarkably resilient to many of the chemicals that were once effective in eradicating them. This resistance is due to a phenomenon known as pesticide resistance, where repeated exposure to a pesticide enables the bugs to develop immunity over time. In Japan, the frequent use of certain pesticides has led to a generation of bedbugs that are largely unaffected by these chemicals. This resistance complicates extermination efforts and allows the bugs to breed uninhibited. So, in essence, the breeding of bedbugs in Japan is a complex interplay of climatic conditions, living conditions, and the bugs' resistance to pesticides. It's a cycle that's difficult to break but not impossible. With the right knowledge and tools, we can tackle this issue head-on and create a safer, bug-free environment. Science indeed offers intriguing insights, doesn't it? So what does this mean for homeowners in Japan and around the world? Imagine, for a moment, the comfort of your own home being invaded by these tiny, blood-sucking pests. Bedbugs are not just unwelcome guests. They're stealthy invaders that can turn your peaceful home into a battlefield. For starters, let's talk about the health risks. While bedbugs are not known to transmit diseases, their bites can cause a range of reactions. Some people may experience mild to severe itching and rashes, while others may suffer from sleep disturbances and anxiety due to the persistent nature of these pests. In more severe cases, an individual may develop an allergic reaction requiring medical attention. These repercussions are not just physical, but psychological as well, affecting the quality of life and peace of mind. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. The financial implications. Dealing with a bedbug infestation isn't as simple as buying a can of bug spray. These stubborn pests have developed resistance to many common insecticides, so homeowners often find themselves facing recurring infestations. This means repeated professional exterminations which can be quite costly. Additionally, there are the hidden costs. Replacing infested furniture and bedding can add up quickly. There's also the potential loss of personal time, as dealing with an infestation can be incredibly time-consuming. Not to mention the social stigma and stress associated with having bedbugs, which may lead to mental health issues such as anxiety and depression. It's clear that the impact of bedbugs extends far beyond the immediate discomfort of their bites. They can affect your health, your wallet, and even your emotional well-being. The fight against bedbugs is not just about reclaiming your home, but about safeguarding your quality of life. So while they may be small, their impact is significant. They can transform a serene home into a site of distress and disruption, making them a serious issue that demands attention. Clearly bedbugs are more than just a minor nuisance. Now that we know the problem, what can we do to solve it? 
The first and most crucial step in combating bedbugs is prevention. It's easier to prevent a bedbug infestation than to treat one that has already taken hold. Regular inspections of your living spaces are a must. This means thoroughly checking your bedding, upholstered furniture, and even your clothing for signs of these pesky invaders. Look for small rust-colored stains, tiny eggs, or the bugs themselves. They're about the size of an apple seed, so while they're small, they're not invisible. But what if you've already detected signs of bed bugs? Don't panic. There are solutions available. First, consider seeking professional help. Pest control professionals are equipped with the knowledge, skills, and tools to efficiently deal with bed bug infestations. They can utilize a variety of treatment methods, from heat treatments to chemical pesticides, to effectively eliminate the bugs and their eggs. If you're dealing with a smaller infestation and want to tackle it yourself, there are over-the-counter products available. These include bed bug sprays, powders, and traps. However, it's essential to remember that these methods may not be as effective as professional treatments, especially for larger infestations. Always follow the instructions on these products carefully and consider reaching out to a professional if the problem persists. Another crucial aspect of bed bug control is awareness. It's not enough to know how to handle an infestation. We must also understand how to prevent one from happening in the first place. Bed bugs are excellent hitchhikers. They can latch onto luggage, clothing, and other items, allowing them to travel from place to place with ease. So be cautious. When traveling, inspect your accommodations for signs of bed bugs and keep your luggage off the floor and away from furniture. Now let's talk about some of the more innovative solutions to this issue. Researchers worldwide are studying bed bugs and their behaviors to develop new and effective control strategies. For instance, some scientists are exploring the use of natural predators, like certain types of fungi, to combat bed bugs. Others are investigating the potential of genetic modification to disrupt the bug's breeding cycle. Of course, these solutions are still in the research phase, but they give us hope for a future where bed bugs are less of a problem. In the meantime, we can all do our part by staying informed, being vigilant, and taking immediate action at the first sign of an infestation. The fight against bed bugs is a collective effort. It's not just about protecting our homes, but also our communities and, ultimately, our peace of mind. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to combating bed bugs. So, we've traveled from the streets of Japan to the realm of science to understand the bed bug problem. We've learned that these tiny critters are more than just a nuisance. They're a significant issue that has a profound impact on homeowners. We've also explored the unique conditions in Japan that make it a hotbed for these pests. A combination of factors, including high population densities, prevalent use of secondhand furniture, and the humid climate, contribute to the rapid breeding of bed bugs. The science behind their breeding was another fascinating journey. We discovered that they can reproduce quickly and in large numbers, making them a challenging pest to control. Finally, we discussed preventive measures and solutions to help homeowners protect their homes. From regular inspections to professional pest control services, there are ways to manage this issue effectively. The next time you hear about bed bugs, you'll know there's more to the story than meets the eye. Stay informed, stay vigilant.